Yellow duckies, and this has been a long time coming, but I can finally say it. Welcome to my time at Sandrock. <laughs> I can't believe it, we can do this. Oh my gosh. I am so happy to be able to give you guys some early viewing of the game as it has progressed in, and developed. Um, early Access is going to be released to general public uh, on the 27th, and I just hope that this gives you guys a, a full-on view of what what you you can be expecting and gets you guys really hyped because it's got me really hyped and I can't wait so let's go in all right so let's create our character I learned my lesson in my time at Porsche, so we're actually going to go a little bit darker than you would think. There we go. Now, face shape. Let's see. standard uh, length. I don't think is that up and down. Yeah, that's up and down. Okay. It's um, okay. about there. And mine does have a little bit of protrusion. There we go. I am basing the character's like face shape on me. Hair-wise, we're going to go ponytail. I think that eventually we will be doing like they will do some more hairstyles. Uh, but currently, this is what we have. hair's kind of long, but it's not super long right now. I have had it super long before, but... Alright, so it's kind of a brown base. Let's go lean into the red a bit. Admittedly right now guys, I'm, I'm going for some purple because I actually do have purple in my hair. I'm not that neon. Uh, let's see, we're going to dark, but we want it to be right about there so it blends with the red a bit. Yeah, I have currently, um, I have my, I have dark roots and then I have like a rose red with purple ends. So that's why I'm kind of going the, the purple and red route. But I just don't want it to be, I want the purple to stand out a little, but I don't want it to be so noticeable that it's like, oh, you have neon in your hair kind of thing. So yeah, that's our hair, eyebrows. What's the shape do? Okay, so mine are a little bit like that. A little thinner. And mine sit low on my eyes, so we're gonna do that. And we're gonna cover quite a bit of ground there, so sorry about that. Eyes. Alright. 
See how you would be able to like rotation. Eh, the rotation's fine. I with people size. Let's. I can see in the future. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, right about there. I think that was probably right about where they had it, but it's a little tiny bit smaller. What's that again? <laughs> now, admittedly, I do personally have a lazy eye, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not wall-eyed and I'm not cross-eyed, so I really can't do that. Let's keep it right. Oh, okay. Um, let's go. Actually, you know what? I, I kind of like how they have them sitting kind of right. Just a little. There we go. That's the eyes. Ears, what do we what can we do with the ears? We can make them teeny tiny. Not that much tinier. We can make I think I fall into just above average ears and they're actually a little higher on me. Nose. Oh gosh. Okay, so let's see. My nose height. What is okay, my nose sits more up. No size. Let's see. Bulbous. Uh, I think I'm more around that range. Bridge depth. Does it actually like move? Yeah. Mm, okay. Kind of actually got. It's more pronounced. So yeah. going on with the nose width like at all. Is it nostrils? I don't see a difference. Hopefully that really won't affect much. Uh, okay, so I think nose length might be let's see, is it actually no, it's not doing much. Nose length oh okay. Right about there, yeah. Okay, so mouth. Facial hair, face tattoo, a little star, a little heart, a lightning bolt. Oh, bigger, ice 
scar. Got a scar. Cheek scar. Cheek cross. Cat whiskers. War paint. this but we're going to lower it more into like the the pinkish range because I do have like an almost natural blush to my cheeks let's see how does that look not too bad, not too bad. That actually looks pretty good. Now, hopefully the coloration sticks. I know, oh, wait, lipstick? Ooh. Um. Okay, so let's go with this, and I actually want to go, let's go kind of this. Okay, so we want to go a little bit light on this one, and then... Awesome. It, it's kind of... There we go. That That's actually... That looks about right. Okay. Alright, guys. Let's get into it. Now, I know that probably a lot of what we're going to be seeing at least initially, is most likely just going to be some stuff we saw in the demo. Now, fingers crossed, um, the... be too bad. There might be some changes, we never know. Maybe some character design changes. I have kind of been trying to, like, keep up with news without, like, overly keeping up with news, um, if that makes sense. Like, keep up with what they're doing with it without exposing myself to too much of newer stuff past what, what we saw in the demo. That's kind of blurry. Oh, oh my gosh. Please tell me the lighting is better. <laughs> There's a lot of bloom going on in this shot. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Please. <laughs> There's so much bloom. Oh my gosh. It's so bright. <laughs> Yes, my David Cedric. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah. <laughs> That's literally what it looks like. I'm stepping out of heaven. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. Much better. Much better. I was nearly blinded. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so hi there. You must be Viola. I'm Mian, the new, the other new builder. 
I just got here yesterday. Nice to meet you. I'm here to take you to the Commerce Guild. The retiring builder and the commissioner are there. Let's not keep them waiting. Follow me. Okay. There's no stamina bar. Oh my god. Well, I mean, there's a stamina bar, but there's not, like, a stamina circle that wears down as you run, like, in Porsche. Oh my gosh, thank you. That means I can run everywhere. <laughs> Howdy there, Viola. I'm Yen, president of the Sandrock Commerce Guild. Pleased to make your acquaintance, yada yada yada. I'll be overseeing you and Mien. Don't think of me as your boss. Think of me as more of a buddy. That's your supervisor. This here's Mason. He's retiring. Hence, you know, the whole reason for you being here and whatnot. But you knew that already. What am I talking about? Anyway. See that workshop there on the other side of the tracks? It used to be Mason's and now it's all yours. Ain't that swell. Just think of all the great stuff you'll be able to make in there for our Commerce Guild. And for other people, too, I guess. Now, I am... Sp well, I am now speechless. Sorry about that, guys. Mason is the established builder of Sandrock. Why don't you say a couple of inspiring words? Uh, well, it's, let's not get too friendly. I mean, I'm on my way out of here. My workshop is yours now, Viola. You may find it run down and dilapidated, ill-equipped, and... It is certainly those things, but you may also find that the place has a lot of hurt. I believe that will suffice. May bring Talisa's to the land. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the blue moon. There are only so many more days I'll be able to get my Yakmel milk on. Okay. He's he was always a bit awkward, mind you. Anyway, back to business. Before you start, I need to tell you all a bit about how we work here in the desert. I know you already hold builder licenses, but things are a bit different here from what you're used to. To start with, there aren't too many trees, so don't go swinging your axe around too much. It's frowned upon anyway. But there's plenty of scrap metal and driftwood you can break apart. For that, You'll need something called a pick hammer. It's a pick with a hammer, just as the name implies. We use it not only because it's useful for breaking up rocks, but it's also durable to break up the old world scrap around here. Easy stuff to make as well. You just need to find some stone and wood and craft it at your work table. Why don't you two try making one for yourselves? You'll be needing it right away anyway done just come find me in the commerce guild but you know no rush see you there true it's pretty easy to make we should be able to find the stone and wood we need by just searching through junk piles on the ground near our workshops picking things up is fun hey let's go to your workshop and see what kind of machines mason mason left for you let me take you there i'm already getting pretty acquainted around here so i can make sure you don't get lost did just like point it out and there's a big exclamation point for me so I doubt I'd get lost very much oh my gosh my hair looks pink instead of having purple oh well ah, now that I see it at this angle it looks better hmm, kind of slim pickings but at least he did leave you, leave you a work table that will be all you need to make a pick hammer you know, Sandrock is still well known across all the free cities for being directly on top of an old world metropolis. They say some old scrap even ends up here on the surface when the wind blows. Once we have our pick hammers, we can smash them up and get all the resources we need. Also, I kind of wanted to say something to you privately. See, the reason I came to Sandrock is because it's not doing so well for itself. Everybody in the free cities knows that. But I didn't hesitate signing that contract. I thought it'd be the best way for me to make a difference in the world. I bet you feel the same way. So let's make a promise. Builder to builder. Let's take Sandrock back to its glory days during our time here. Let's give it our all, okay? Phew. Well, I'm off to make my pick hammer. See you around. 
Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. We got some thick rope. The left hand furnace. I think that's yeah, we need the pickaxe to or pick pick not pickaxe, picks hammer. I saw the the thing and it was like yeah. Made me think. Okay, so I got some wood scraps. Let's check out this stack. Got some stone and one wood. I need one more wood. Easier by sorting your work, taking multiple items by category. Oh, nice! Craftable items are shown here. The number in red tells you how many of this item you need to make for your certain quest. Okay, so right there. Click here to make the item. Okay. Uh, I think we're supposed to have a visual here. The color represents the quality of the item. I think we were supposed to have a, a visual there, but we just, they don't have it set up yet. <clears throat> now you can use the pick hammer to break down and recycle the junk in your yard, as well as scraps scattered throughout the desert. Okay. Nice. Which means I can get rid of this. Which may come in later. Mm, come in useful later. Sorry, guys. I am tripping over my own tongue. Wow. <laughs> Hey, I've got the pick hammer. I'm ready to smack stuff. Now that's a nice looking pick hammer. It's the soul of a desert builder. Never lose it. But if you do, now you know how to build another one, I suppose. Next, let me tell you about the recycler. It's another indispensable tool for a desert builder. It's a machine that's synonymous with make do. Once it's made, you can put the scraps you collect from your, with your pick hammer into the recycler to get all sorts of useful items. You can construct the recycler on your assembly station. Here's the diagram for it. Just look it up in your workshop, workshop handbook. You can also open to it in the control panel at the assembly station. And don't worry so much. You'll figure it out. Come back to the Commerce Guild when you've finished. Bye now. Looks like I've already got enough wood. What does it take to make grinding saws in this version, I wonder? I'm pretty sure last time it was just... Was it just stone? Or was it stone and sand? Something along those lines. We shall see. Let's see. Recycler. Okay, you start assembling, put all your construction parts in the assembly station platform to complete it. Go to the handbook, to turn off the tutorials in the menu. We're, we're not doing that yet. <laughs> like, I, I know for the most part. Okay, so we need more stone. Dinus and stone. So, Dinus is something completely new. Um, let's try this. Stone anyway. Hmm, leveled up. Does that mean I can. Oh, okay. I guess leveling's a little different now. Understandable. New game, new mechanics. Oh, I got some ports. Any more gravel? Here's some. Better tumbleweeds! Oh my gosh. This is a serious revelation, guys. 
that's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to be chasing tumbleweeds all day. But I shouldn't. I shouldn't chase tumbleweeds all day. Not yet. <laughs> Can I only make the one? Oh, I don't have enough dinos. Okay, well, what about... <gasps> I, I don't need it on my bar anymore. Oh my gosh, I don't need it on my bar anymore. <gasps> <laughs> oh yes! Oh, that was always one of the holdbacks. One of the 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 problems I had with Porsche was I constantly had to ha put everything on my bar, and it held so much up. Okay, that's two more dinos. I mean, I know that like I, it may seem like oh you know you you can go back and look at the demo and see that yes these things, but it's. It's been like a year since I played the demo, guys. It's hard to think that, but... I know it probably hasn't been like a full year, but it's, it feels like it has. Alright, we're... yeah. Um, okay, so it doesn't say I need to take this to him, so I'm actually gonna put it down. Let's go talk to him. There's a Logan sign right out there. I'll go investigate that in a moment. Uh, stop walking away from me! Hey, there you are. No, no need to show me the recycler. I'm sure it's fine. You have a builder's license, right? Besides, what's the worst it could do? Explode and burn our town to the ground? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Main thing to take away here is that from now on, whenever you have questions, you can consult your workshop handbook and definitely not ask me anything related to building whatsoever. Yes, I'll be far, far too busy to handle your questions. So now that you have the basic knowledge of a desert builder, why don't you mosey over to City Hall and register your workshop? Normally the mayor handles registrations, but Minister Matilda is taking over administrative type stuff for her at the moment. Wait, what? Where's the mayor? Oh, you hadn't heard? She's off trying to plant things in the Eufaula Desert. Didn't no one ever tell her plants need dirt to grow? Say, she's been gone a while. I sure hope she's still alive. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I found a couple of extra diagrams I was probably going to throw it, uh, but why would I do that when I could just recycle them to you? No need to thank me. Consider it a uh, new employee bonus thingy. Yeah, you're not sketchy at all, are you? <laughs> Anyway, hurry over to City Hall and have Matilda register your workshop. While you're out, I'll be preparing a job for you. Hurry back when you're registered. I'm an investigating here. Ooh, Logan sign. If you see this man, do not engage report immediately to the Civil Corps. Any information leading to the arrest and conviction of this vile perpetrator will be rewarded handsomely in the sum of a hundred thousand. I want to find him. I want to turn him in. I want a money. An assortment of documents and papers. There's an award plaque. Builder of the Decade Yen. At the bottom, the signature of the Commerce Guild Commissioner, commissioner reads Yen. The word Commissioner is scratched out and replaced with President? What does he want to be the President of the Commerce Guild? Ooh, Prezies! Lots of unopened packages all addressed to you. Ah, oh, boo. Where's my prezies? Ooh. I actually have a, have a map here. Map of the Alliance of Free Cities. You can see your hometown. Oh, we're from Highwind now. Okay. Okay. Can't really see it in good detail, though. It's kind of frustrating. a chest. <gasps> it's a chest. One goal. Seriously? Dude, you had a whole chest that was holding one goal. Wait. I can break it now? 
Oh my gosh. And I get supplies from it. That's awesome! Ooh, books? Books? Whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> same, same button for walking and running. Gotcha, gotcha. At least it tells me now. This bookcase is nearly barren. Aren't commerce guilds supposed to have more books? One title jumps out. How to make friends and influence people. Mm. Yeah, you're one of those, aren't you, Yan? Alright, well, while we're out here, heading to the city hall, is there anybody I can say hi to? It's the saloon. Can I go in the saloon? game's a little on the buggy side. I might have to verify some plat- Oh, hi! You must be one of the new builders. Well, justice is my name, and justice is my game. That's right. I'm the law around these parts. Head of the Civil Corps. Nice! Rooms are cleared out by the Civil Corps before they're open for diving. If you ever discover any unexplored ruins, you gotta let us know. Let's just say Curiosity has killed its fair share of cats around these parts. Oh no! Kitties! Save the kitties! Oh, I see a kitty. Wait, is that a kitty? Or is that a dog? Ah, you're a new builder. Uh, Katori. Okay. Nice to meet you. I'm Katori. I think we'll be working together a lot in the future. I'm trying to turn Sand Rock back into the Jewel of the Desert with my Golden Goose Entertainment Extravaganza Complex. It's a mouthful. It needs better phrasing. Anyway, even if you have no idea what I'm talking about, drop by and have some fun. Here, a few tokens to get you started. Oh, nice. <gasps> it is a kitty. Its name is Captain. Member of the Civil Corps, mouse grabber extraordinaire. Oh my gosh, you're adorable. You have a little star on your head. <gasps> I want to kiss the star. Mwah. Give you little head kisses. Over here. What? Halt! Who goes there? Oh, it's you. New builder. I thought you were one of Logan's gang. <laughs> Silly me. You look nothing like an outlaw. And your arms are so skinny. Do you even know how to defend yourself? You know the desert isn't kind to the fragile. Hmm. It is decided. I, the Magnificent Pen, the Protector of Sandrock, as of five seconds ago, have taken it upon myself to offer you a combat lesson. Sure. <laughs> Splendid. Let's go. What? Where are we going? What? I need to go in the build. What? You know why I came all the way out here to serve and protect? Because this place builds toughness. If you ain't tough, the desert will chew you up and spit you out. People here need to train often to build that toughness. Now, before we spar, you can go pick a weapon from over there. Doesn't matter which. All the same to me. When you're ready, come at me. Okay, so you have a stone spear. Stone sword that looks like something out of Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Or just Final Fantasy series in general. <laughs> stone daggers and stone sword and shield. I think I'm a daggers kind of gal. Did it just say something about a museum? Come, come and attack me. I won't fight back. Let me see what you can do. Is that all you got? Don't tell me you skipped leg day. Okay, you can swing a weapon around. I'm- we're all very proud of you. But can you break through my defense? There's what? Clients have, have 
break through their thick into a break state when they flinch at all your attacks. Oh! Huh, did I just feel pain? Don't you know any other moves? I'm getting bored. It's my turn. Oh, I need to dodge. Staying still, it won't hurt much. Read you like a book, skinny arms. No, you can't. Defeat him? How am I supposed to defeat him? I'm literally taking one damage off him. Enough, I grow weary of this. Oh gosh. And thus concludes the segment of my combat course titled Never Mess With Pen. I hope you learned something. I sure had fun teaching it. Uh, yeah, I learned that you like to try to train people and then get upset with them when they're actually doing well. <laughs> the first thing I would do if I were you is go back to your work table and craft a weapon. But that's just me. Farewell, skinny arms. I don't like you. You're mean. Okay, well now we can actually go into... Oh. oh, she seems nice. Very pretty outfit. Minister of the local chapter of the Church of Light. Why, hello there. You must be Viola. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of Light, filling in for Mayor Trudy. We're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in Sandrock. If you're here, that means you must have passed Yen's little audition and you're ready to register your workshop. All you have to do is fill in the name of your workshop, and we're all set. Okay, so guys, I did a little digging, and... While I did get a few um, suggestions uh, like Cactus and Desert Rose and that sort of stuff on my demo video as to workshop names, I did some research and there is a genus of wild plants that grow in the desert called Abronia that have absolutely gorgeous clusters of flowers. So that is going to be our workshop name. That'll do it. If you ever want to change your workshop name again, you can buy a rename card from the City Hall store. Congratulations, Builder. Your workshop is officially open for business in Sandrock. Whenever you're ready, you can start taking commissions from the commission board inside the Commerce Guild. Now, I'm not exactly known around these parts for my arithmetic, but I do reckon we can expect a lot from two builders as opposed to just old Mason and buy his lonesome. Work hard, then you'll have plenty of pocket money for yourself too, don't you know? Hmm, I dare say this calls for a celebration. Normally we have fireside meetings on Sunday nights, but I reckon I'll just round everyone up tomorrow to properly welcome you new builders. Oh, and you must come. It wouldn't be the same without you. See you then, and congratulations again, Builder. May you bring Talisus to Sandrock. I hope I'm saying that right. Furniture can be placed in empty space in your home. Create your own small world. Ooh. All right. Jasmine, I grew up here. My ma's the mayor, but she's not here right now because mayoring is such a busy job. But that's okay. Everyone in town is really nice. You're going to like it a lot. I know it. Oh, you're precious. 
My mom works far away, but that's okay. Grandma, Bibi, and Aunt Heidi take good care of me while Ma's gone. I gotta get big faster so I can help my mom. Oh, you are so precious. Oh, how are you? Heidi? Heidi, you're helping. Hey there, I'm Heidi, architect around these parts. Looks like old Mason handed you down a real fixer-upper of a workshop, huh? Well, lucky for you, I do plenty of fixing up. Come by my office sometime if you're looking to upgrade your workshop. Ooh, okay. Who, uh, no need for introductions. I know who you are. I'm Pastor Miguel. I guess you could say I'm the brains behind this little operation. I trust you'll bring Talises to Sandrock and beyond. You look shady. He really does. Like, super shady. Somebody up there. Pen. They're already in. Ooh! General store. Person is actually in. Hello! You're a new builder, aren't you? Charmed, to be sure. I run by the stairs, the only general store in town. Nevertheless, I think our you'll find our prices hard to beat. Oh, that's right. Matilda asked me to help you out, being new and all. And I thought of something I think you're going to love. For the next seven days, everything in my store will be 50% off, just for you. Of course. Oh, and he gave me a chair. It's 50% off. Cake pens, fireworks, differentials. Concentric knot. Give it to your beloved. They'll understand your intentions. Tea leaves, alfalfa, flowers, soy sauce, sea salt. Hmm. Concealer? I'm guessing. Oh, it says it's a food. Just concealer. Facial cream. Sunscreen! I'm sure that will come in handy. <laughs> cabinet. Simple cabinet. Ooh, so it actually. Similar furniture stuff. Okay. Bed, rustic dining, simple chair, wooden storage. There is a museum. <gasps> but I'm actually uh No, we'll 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 wait to buy something still. Where's everybody running off to? Who are you? Fall a salvage employee. Get along with everybody in the group pretty good, but one day me and Faye are gonna go off and start a business. We go just gotta save up a bit first. There it is. Hello, new builder. It's wonderful to have you among our desert flock. I'm Burgess, Chief Safety Inspector of the Sandrock Chapter of the Church of Light. I mostly patrol the oasis, but if and if that water level moves even a centimeter, boy, you'd better believe I'll let everyone and their mother know about it. Okay. Um, ah, another you fall a salvage employee. My strategy in the mines is to never learn how to do anything. That way, someone else has to do it for me, like Bendy, for example. Okay. I mean, that's one tactic. What? Oh, hey, Viola. Did you get a message from Yen saying emergency come now as well? Wonder what's the emergency? I got no such message, but okay. <laughs> Listen here, you lazy mop stick. Me and my boys have had it up to here with your excuses. Where's our lift, huh? Look, Rocky, old buddy, old pal. Don't you buddy me, pal. Since Mason's leaving, you promised me you'd do it yourself. 
First it was you had a cold, then it was your turtle being sick, and today I found out you don't even have- got a turtle. Do you understand the- uh, okay. Uh, so now I gotta give you a beatdown. Sorry, pal, but it's company policy. Ah, wait, no, Rocky, look! What I mean is, er, I was bringing in new people to take special carrier commission. Look, here they are. Did we come at a bad time? No, no, you came at a perfect time. Mr. Rocky here is a big boss of you follow salvage. And he's got a very special commission that we should take care of right away. With Mason's departure, the commission sort of got lost in the shovel for a few months or so, but now that you two are both registered workshops, you can take this commission off my hands or help out, right? Oh, yeah, sure, that's what we're here for. Did you hear that, Viola? Our first big job. See, they're up for it. What do you say, buddy pal? All right, Ian. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Great. Listen to your builders. Rocky and his miners are working at a paradise lost. You know, that big looking ruin right next to Viola's workshop. My pal here commissioned two crane lifts to move things up and down this really long tunnel they're working out of. And since there are two of you, each one of you can make a lift. Easy peasy for all. Sorry for putting you two on the spot. If only Yan's doing his job like he's supposed to and... Hey, I'm not your pal! If you're looking for parts, we have a bunch of salvage in our company backyard that you can rifle through. It's located by the Paradise, Paradise Lost Ruins. Lots of miners there. Can't miss it. Normally we charge a weekly fee for access, but here, take a free one week pass. Hmm. When you're done, install it for me as well. Uh, it's either Q or Chi. I don't know how to pro properly pronounce it yet. So sorry if I say something wrong here, guys, but uh, I'm going- I'm gonna lean for Chi because, uh, it was Chiwa last time, um, in- in Portia, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. That's what it, it is. Uh, Chi already drew up a diagram for the lift, so here, you can have it. Hope you put it to better use than this sorry excuse for a builder here was hurting. Based on this diagram, we won't be able to find these parts from any random scrap. I guess we'll need to take a look at Rocky's salvage yard. Looks like we'll need to use the furnace as well. Well, we can't finish if we don't get started. Let's do our best, Viola. Okay. Oh, it's you again. Say, since I got you, did I ever explain the commission board to you? I mean, technically, I know how it works, but let's do this. No, how does it work? Phew, alright, then newbie, listen up. Because I don't want to have to repeat myself. Most important commission that I'll need you to do... Well, don't worry about that. I'll make sure you know about those. Rocky's crane lift, for example. But for everything else, there's the commission board inside the guild. Townsfolk post less urgent commissions there. Nevertheless, you should still pick those up right away. Good for you, good for the guild. Each commission gets a star rating, and star means it's easy, five stars means it's for pros. Only. I wanna feel the glory. You wanna feel the glory and reap the rewards of five star commissions? You gotta start at the bottom and build up your workshop equipment and reputation. Since you're a newbie, you can only take one per day. Finish it up quick, then pick up a new commission the next day. As you raise your star rating, you'll be able to take on multiple commissions per day. Yes! Oh my gosh. At the end of the year, we hear the guild count up who's been doing what around town and divvy out awards to the top performers. The rewards for taking first place are pretty sweet. Er, but I wouldn't concern yourself with that so much. I mean, I've never lost. <laughs> well, that about does it. Got everything? Yep, got it. That's good to me. You listen to speech as well. I dare say you have middle management written all over you. See you around. Okay. Um, well, I need to build a furnace anyway. 
So let's accept this. If I'm gonna build one, I might as well build two. Hello, Mason. Bye, Mason. All right. So let's come over here and see what it takes to make a furnace. Stone trowel, troughs, quartz, and wooden sticks. wood. Ooh, okay, what can I do in the recycler? Okay, so high possibility of getting wood, high possibility of getting wooden sticks, and guarantee of getting dregs, which I think are used as fuel. Yeah, dregs. Okay, so we'll set, unlike the work table, machines take time to create items. Click here on the right to show all the items that are in line to be when something in the queue is being built, you can add more of that item or cancel the process. This is how long it will take to finish making all the items. This is your fuel meter. You can check how much fuel you have and add more if you need to. When you add fuel, you can choose what kind of fuel you want to use. Some kinds of fuel last longer than others. To need bricks, but I don't have. Don't. Okay. Um, let's see. Ha! Gravel. Pretty sure I got quartz from getting gravel. Yes, I do. Okay. So I just need to find more. higher chance of getting quartz from like bigger pieces or if it's kind of the same all around. Sandworm. That's different. Okay, that's should make three I think. Still one short, uh, but I have enough to craft those, so I can put those in. Um, wood, I'm working on getting. I got a wooden stick. Please give me a wooden stick. Give me a wooden stick. Give me a wooden stick. So now, all I need is the quartz. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Take 
don't, I seriously doubt I'll get anything from that, but... Stick, ribbon, stick, wooden, wood, wooden wood? Is it anywhere? No. Ooh, scrap! Uh-oh. Um, I guess I need to go to sleep. license and go to sleep. I don't see any effects or anything on me. As far as staying up too late, I saw a glow on me last night. But I don't think that has anything to do with anything. But <gasps> Jasmine! Another builder, special delivery. I am just yeah, we met Jasmine. I was delivering your sample newspaper. If you like reading it, just go to the newsstand near City Hall to subscribe. Then you will get each issue in the mail. Okay. Oh hey, I bet it's hard moving to a new place. I know this town like the back of my hand. Let me show you around. I'm a super good tour guide. I know lots of stuff about Sand Rock. <laughs> sure. That sounds great. Let's go. Yeah, cool. Jasmine Company official Sand Rock tour is now beginning. Our first stop will be the Wandering Y Yakmel Ranch. Okay. Alright, so I have some mail, but I'm gonna hold off on doing that because... She's running off, so let's go catch up with her. Passengers, please look ahead and notice Mr. Cooper and Mrs. Maybell and Elsie's house. They have a really big ranch. That means they get milk for everyone. Maybe some other stuff, too. Oh, you can see the Akmel over there. I like to say hi to them every day, and sometimes they even say hi back, but it sounds more like moo. I think they still s sell stuff that you could use to take care of animals here. That might be useful for you, huh? On to the next stop. Please keep your hands and feet inside the imaginary vehicle. Oh, okay. There's the next stop. This is Martle's Oasis. Mrs. Mar Miss Martle was the first mayor of Sandrock, and she found this oasis a long time ago. We all drink this water, so don't step in it. In the middle, you can of course see a statue of Mr. Peach. One day, I hope I can invent something really cool like Peach did. The big water tower over there is where we keep extra water. Mr. Burgess takes care of it, and you can get some from him if you give him some money. Oh hey, that reminds me. Do you know what the official town slogan is? Minister Matilda came up with it. Now everybody says it all the time. Well, considering we're right by the oasis, I would think conserve water? Wow, yeah, that's right. You got it. You must have done your homework. I'd give you a sticker, but I don't have any. Conserve water. That's our slogan. If you run out, um, I guess we have to go live somewhere else. So we should say our slogan a lot to help people remember. This concludes the Martles Oasis part of our tour. For our next stop, we will be visiting Fabulous City Hall. Okay. Who is that? And where? Why is there trash all over this ruined cloth? Um, hold on, Jasmine. I'm taking a small detour. Hey, you're one of the new builders. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Owen. I run this blue, 
Blue Moon Saloon. Are you hungry? I have a couple of sample dishes. I know you can work up quite an appetite after spending a day in the ruins. Drop by any time. I'll be around. Uh, I will drop by any time. I mean, Jasmine. Let's catch up with Jasmine. Oh, hi, Burgess. Trash. Who are you? Hey, I'm... Sir? Is that his name? I don't know how to say his name. <laughs> a member of the local civil corps. There are dangerous elements all around town, such as the criminal gang led by Logan or the aggressive Gigglers. You should be careful. Okay. Ah, City Hall this way. Over here to Jasmine. <gasps> Who is that? Oh! First thing you'll notice about City Hall is that it's very big. Grown-ups often go into this building and talk a lot. My ma works here when she isn't going out into the desert. Aunt Heidi also works next door. She builds bridges and upgrades houses and stuff. Say, isn't this the same job as you? What's the difference? Oh, by the way, from the station to here is the main street of Sandra. Arby's store, Grandma Vivi's clothes shop, Mr. Owen's saloon, um, Mr. Pablo's parlor. Yeah, they're all on this street, so you can definitely go shopping here when you have time. Moving right along. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'll be right with you, Jasmine. Well, look at you, new builder in town. Always glad to see a new face. Here now, sugar, take this scarf. It gets chilly here at night. Courtesy of Taylor Maid. Don't be a stranger, you hear? Oh my gosh, I love her and she is precious. I want to protect her forever. Wait, what? Oh, here you can see all your stats. These are your clothes and equipment slots. You can click one to check and replace what you're wearing with other items of the same type. Click to quickly change equipment, then click the left side of the screen to see how your stats have changed. Accessory? Oh my gosh, we actually have like accessories. Well, I mean, we know, I know we had like accessories and that sort of thing. But like the. Why do my eyes look so dark? It, oh, is that what happens? Is that what happens if you. Okay, so Matilda, we already know. Just chat. Age of Corruption technology can be a boon and a curse. The mission of the Church of Light is not to extinguish science, but simply to ensure its proper use. We cannot be allowed to suffer the same fate as our ancestors. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's so, she's so sweet. I, I, uh, be, the, mm, he, he still looks sketchy. Okay, so her circle is up here. Oh. Tony, hello, Pen. For the next stop on our tour, please bring your attention to right over there, where you'll see the beautiful Church of Light Temple. Most of us come here every Sunday to sing and listen to Miss Minister Matilda tell us not to do bad stuff. My favorite songs are ones about Peach. You should come next time. And this is the last stop on our tour. If you follow the path on the right, you'll find the research center and the golden goose. Um, I think that's it. This place is pretty big. You should look around when you have downtime. This concludes the very special Jasmine Code tour. And that's enough walking for today. So, what do you think of your new home? Very nice. Yeah, I think so too. A lot of people don't like this place so much, but you do. So I think that means we can be good friends. Anyway, I'm sure you have lots of things to build. As for me, I need to go to Aunt Katori's Grand Center for business. Come join me if you get time. <laughs> Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Oh, I'm so happy to finally be able to... Wait a second, my hair is moving. There's breeze physics. Oh my gosh, there's hair physics. 
Okay, okay. Anyway, before I get distracted by, by something else, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to show you more. And, and I'm not going to wait to show you more. These videos are going to be one a day. I am keeping this up as long as I can with how much there is. I will show off all I can to you guys. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos and remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye-bye!